Hello friends, Kid Charming here. So, I don't have a lot of time. Because I woke up a little late for work today. But boy. Do I got some things to talk about. So, yesterday we got the mail. And I got my new holder for my phone for when I'm either in the car or whatnot. It didn't cost me, it was like five bucks with shipping, like shipping was free, so it was great. Um, so that came in the mail, it was great. Lean was looking through the mail, looking through the mail. She's like, corrections, what, what is this? And as she's opening, I'm like, if you get called for jury duty again, I'm gonna die. And then she lost it. She goes, oh, I got picked for jury duty again. This is effing stupid. How is it that even in two years, I get called twice? I've never been called for jury duty. No one other than her grandmother in her family has ever been called for jury duty. I've never been called for jury duty. She posted on Facebook like, dude, who's been called for jury duty? One of her friends says that in three years, she's been called three times to jury duty. The first time Lena was called to jury duty, they got there and they're like, you can go home. Dude, dude pled guilty. You're good. So I was like, okay, that's cool. Whatever. And Lena's like, I hope at least they don't just waste my time this time and they at least get through the selection process. She doesn't want to be selected because she doesn't know what she's going on jury for. Like, she doesn't even know what it is that, like, the crime was. They won't know until the selection's done. But, yeah, I thought it was freaking hilarious that she got called for jury duty a second time. And I've never been called for jury duty. The thing is, we're the same age, same marital status. Uh, live in the same residence, stuff like that. But I've never been called for jury duty, and she has. It's great. Uh, another thing that I wanted to touch on that I know me and Riley touched on way back when, but Lena was telling me a story. Um, where she works at McDonald's, so they have Mario toys right now. And um, she knew this was going to be a problem as soon as she saw the toy, like what the line of toys was going to be. Because they're unisex toys. Like there's no boy toy, there's no girl toy. But where she saw the problem was with Princess Peach as one of the, because they have like a different one a week or something like that. And um, she knew that was going to be a problem. So a lady came up with the toy and was like, um, I want a boy toy. And Lena's like, this is what we have. Like, this is a unisex toy. It's for Mario. Right, but I don't want him to have Princess Peach. I'm like, what the heck do you mean? She doesn't want him to, it's a, it's a game. It's, it's a game. Princess Peach is a character in a game. In Mario, in Mario, he saves Princess Peach. And then there's times where she is also a playable character where she fights too. So why is it, he, so Lena was like, well, we have some of our older toys. If you'd rather give him one of those, well, no, I want a Mario toy. Well, this is what we have. This is all we have. You have to have Princess Peach if you want a Mario toy. And this lady was not having it. Which made me think, I'm like, why is it that she had a big deal with him having Princess Peach? It's not like it's a girl toy. They're unisex toys. And I'm hoping that we get more of these unisex toys and no more of this boy toy, girl toy crap. And it made me go off on a tangent, like normally I do. And my problem is, is that, like I am a true, like, I would, I would consider myself a feminist because I hate the fact that this is a thing. That this is a boy toy, girl toy issue. Like, we com like a lot of people complain about how men are unfeeling and, and how they, you know, they don't connect well or whatever. Like, I hear that all the time. You know, they don't talk about their feelings very often. And then we have mothers going, no, I don't want him having Princess Peach because that's a girl's toy. 
And we have things like man up and, you know, grow some balls when a, when a guy is feeling, you know, unhappy or, or sad about something. It's like, dude, man up. Like, what are you doing? We are creating this, yet complaining about it at the same time. There is no problem with that little boy having a Princess Peach to, uh, toy. One, it's a freaking McDonald's toy. And two, it's from a video game. That'd be like me complaining about getting a Mega Man toy when it was a Mega Man themed thing. Like, be like me complaining about getting Mario. I'm not gonna complain because it's part of, it's part of the game. Like, seriously. But we talk about a lot about how women are demeaned and, and how they have so much expectations on them and, you know, they got to be pretty, they got to, you know, do this, they got to do that. But we also have those expectations. Give me a second here. This is really starting to annoy the crap out of me. Ugh. But we still have those expectations on men as well. Men have to be tough and men have to be strong and they can't talk about their feelings, but we want them to. But when they do, we call them, you know, weak and and sissies. No. Let the men have feelings, for goodness sake. Those poor guys. Like, I feel bad. Does this excuse any type of behaviors? No, it doesn't. Because in the end, you have a choice. But at the same time, like, choice is, is one thing, but you're being raised a certain way. Like, my, if I have a little boy, if he wants to play with princesses, go right ahead. He wants to play with Barbies, I don't care. He wants to wear high heels, go for it, son. You got it. Whatever you want. Because that's proper. Let him do what he wants to do. I don't care if people think that's weird. I'm letting the boy have feelings. I'm letting the boy be himself. I'm not putting this pressure on him that he has to be a strong man and not feel. I would never do that. I would never say, no, son, you can't have that because that's a girl's toy. Just like I would never tell my girl, if I had a little girl, I would never tell her, no, you can't have that, that's a boy's toy. But the thing is, is girls playing with boys' toys is more acceptable than boys playing with girls' toys. What? Why? I would never, like, girls playing with army men and dump trucks Cool, whatever. Boy wants to play with a freaking Polly Pocket and we've got an issue here. It is code red. No, let the boy play with the Polly Pocket. If you guys even know what that is anymore. I don't even know if that's even a thing anymore. But what I'm saying is we can't have this double standard on things. If we want women's rights to be better, then we need to make sure that the men know, hey, we don't have these ridiculous expectations of you anymore. You don't need to be rough and tough cowboy men. You don't need to do that anymore. You can be who you are as a person and we're not going to judge. Because that's how I'm going to be raising my kids. Boy or girl, if I have one of each, whatever. They're going to be raised without expectations of what it means to be a boy and what it means to be a girl. They're not going to have that. Because they're going to have a girly mom. And they're going to have me, who is female, as a dad. And that is what I'm going to go by. I am going to be dad. Daddy, dada, whatever. Because one, that's how I feel comfortable. I identify as female, but I don't like, I don't find that the word mom or mama or anything of that actually suits me as a person. Makes me feel slightly uncomfortable. But I do go by he, by she or, you know, her or whatever. Because that's fine, because that's what I am. I just don't like girly words, like princess or like to be called princess do i mind having princess peach as a toy no i bought a mouse for work and it's pink like i don't mind that i just don't find like being called pretty or being called uh beautiful really suits who i am as a person but you know that's just me anyway i'm gonna go in i'm gonna be late if i don't i just thought i would share my point of view with you guys. So you guys, I will catch you after work. Kid Charming is going to work. I'm actually on the phones again today. More so than I was yesterday. More so. So I'll catch you guys after work.
Hello guys and gals. I don't discriminate. I'm home as you can see I have changed. It's because it is actually ten after seven <laughs> and I was off over two hours ago. Now I've only you know actually had been in the homeish area since about I don't know quarter to six -ish, a little late. But uh came in and the wife was a little out of sorts and was hungry and I offered to take her out to dinner so we went to A and W. Yeah, it's a sort of event. <laughs> we came home and I ate and after I was finished eating I was ready to get the video going and all of a sudden my door opens and the dog comes in and the wife peeks around the door frame and she looks at me and she's like I need a love. Now when your wife comes in and says that to you, you don't go, okay, honey, after I'm done my YouTube video. No, you literally drop everything and you help out your wife. <laughs> For sure. So I did. I had everything all set up, ready to go and dropped everything. And I said, yeah, yeah, I'll come in there and I'll help you out. She's really, really tired is what the problem is. is she's super duper tired. So I tucked her in and I rubbed her back and helped her get into a more comfier state so that she can go to sleep. I'm also feeling like in a comfier state ready to go to sleep as well, but not yet. It's only 10 after 7. I only have to be asleep by 10.30, but I need to be in bed by 9.30, so I still have a couple hours before I have to actually go into bed. So, I'm good. But yeah. And the wife says, hey, I'm sleepy and I need your help and I need love. And you say, okay, well, I'll be right there. So I did that. So. Just to uh, let you guys know. <sighs> did I hit the microphone? Uh, that uh, it was a good day at work today. Knocked it out of the park. I'll do it again tomorrow. And then Monday and Tuesday and every day afterwards. It's confidence. Faking it till I make it, just saying. But uh, that being said, it's already going to be like a 13 minute video. So uh, I think we're good. I think we're good. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Kid Charming out.